hi welcome back to rebecca's travel so if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to rebecca's lifestyle hi if you're new here to my channel hi my name's rebecca i love talking about travel and lifestyle um i upload uh, five times a week on both my travel and lifestyle channel and uh, please subscribe uh, to both my travel and my lifestyle channel and um, because I love talking about travel and lifestyle and um, today uh, the weather's not been all that cold um, here in Colville in the UK um, but um, it's just been mild really um, anyway we do have a lot to be grateful for no snow or, or rain so um today i'm going to be doing travel news uk five exciting facts february 2022 part two so i'm going to crack on with number one um the guardian uh, dot uh, com bucket spade and a pile of red tape uk travelers warned about covid uh, rule tracks tourists who have had jabs more than 270 days ago need a booster uh, to enter france spain and denmark travelers have been warned to check half-term holiday plans to make sure they meet the covid vaccination rules uh, when traveling to the eu destinations as growing numbers of country impose new restrictions unfortunately so you will have to check um that you're up to date with your vaccinations and you um obviously got the documents to show uh, to show them on the borders now number two heaven above top 10 uk dark ski festival and stargazing destinations this again is according to the dark um, guardian.com so he's here's the 10 fabulous uh, destinations number one hebridan hebridian dark skis festival it's a program of scott stargazing astronomy talks films art and music so lots of things there um that the festival offers number two exmoor number three yorkshire dales and north york moors number four northumberland and uh, number five south downs national park number seven uh, number six the peak district national park number seven at uh, brecon brecon's national park um in south wales number eight crumbia number nine forest of bruden sladen or Sladeburn village wow number 10 last but not least car the Carn gormers national park and um, up in scotland now number three inews.com uh, when can i travel to australia from the uk covid rules for every every state and territory in australia as borders reopens travelers landing in sydney uh, new south wales will need to self-isolate until they receive a negative result from an antigen test number four the daily express um very positive greece and uh, portugal ditch testing restrictions for british tourists yay that's really good news because uh, greece and portugal are really popular destinations 
uh, where British tourists are, um, go to. Um, I've been to Greece um, and Portugal and um, yes, I, I can say that they're both really nice places uh, to visit if you obviously can and I'm glad um, because obviously it's going to it's a welcome move uh, for the travel industry. Unvaccinated passengers will still have to uh, provide a negative test, though. So, vaccinated passengers um, for Greece and Portugal um, don't have to do a, a test, but obviously um unvaccinated uh, passengers uh, need to do a test and it's got to be a negative test otherwise you will have to self-isolate um number five berkshirelive.com Heathrow Airport Iceland Portugal and Australia travel rules as England's COVID restrictions are poised to ease the relaxation relaxed travel restrictions have come in time uh, for the February half term holidays which is again really good again in this country so um, if people want to visit other people or go on a holiday in England um, in the February half term then again there's no travel restrictions which is really good and it basically helps everybody um this so i would like to say thank you for watching and um, i hope everybody has a nice day or night wherever you are in the world and i'll see you tomorrow uh, with um five um exciting luxury travel facts that's tomorrow's video and bye for now and and see you tomorrow thank you bye